Technically, we would be classed as a hybrid estate agent. We offer the same, same kind of service people expect from a traditional estate agent, but we do it online, so therefore we charge less. When we set it up, we wanted to be community-based, so it was very important to us to, to interact with local people. We didn't want to be a big faceless corporate body. One of our directors coaches a kids football team. This kids football team needed some kit, so we bought them some kit. Then other clubs found out that they'd had new kit, so we bought some others. So we've now got, I think it's four or five teams that we sponsor their kit. We're doing the colour run this month for the Hospice of the Good Shepherd. We are a corporate partner of the Dogs Trust. So what we've just introduced is our fees are all something £95, so either 495 or 895 We're asking all our customers to round their fee up by £5 and then we'll put £5 to local charities. But they need to be local, they must be supporting local causes. Once we decide who the charities are, um, I think that is going to be a big focus. Musical Moments, um, which is a company that delivers interactive musical activities, especially for care homes, but we work with all community groups. The reason that I founded the company was when I finished university I did a music degree and my nan was living with dementia at the time and I just went to visit her at this very care home um, and just found that she was so engaged when she saw any sort of music entertainment or any, listened to any music, she came alive, she lit up and it was just so nice to see. I'd done a placement when I was away um, at a dementia hospital delivering activities for people living with dementia using some elements of music therapy, music psychology and uh, I created some activities, tried them out here and they went down really, really well and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> I decided to franchise the model um, in 2017, so now we have musical moments uh, in various areas of the UK, including all of Cheshire. My ultimate goal is to get more music into care homes in the next sort of five or ten years, so we'll just see where things go. We've done a lot of things since like Technoprint first started. It's only um, quite recently that we've realised it is actually corporate social responsibility Alan and Technoprint are passionate about helping the community, fundraising for charities, supporting the community as well. We've got an environmental ISO standard. That's something that we've got no pressure on us from clients to have. It's just we are keen to protect the environment. Things like the great plastic pickup, we, we take part in that. For the last two years, we've sponsored an award at the Town Mayor's Oscars, so that's recognising local heroes, so to speak. We do fundraising and we do various things like cake sales, bike ride, an inflatable obstacle course. The staff do invest a lot of their own time in it, so it's not as something just as a company, you know, we do it in company time. All the staff on site do actually support it because it's important to them as well. Mm -hmm.